Welcome to the channel for the first time viewers. Welcome back from my existing subscribers. This is a slight different take from my gaming content. This is actually um, just a fix that I it was messing me up a hindrance at work. So I'm on my lunch break right now, but this is something I have figured out before I started my shift today. And here's the issue that I was running into. I connected my mouse to the same profile on a different machine. So it was no longer picking up on my Mac mini that I use at work. And so here's how I fixed it. Now to pair a mouse with your Mac mini, a lot of folks tell you to get another mouse and connect it. I didn't have another mouse and this mouse does not work via USB. So I couldn't just plug it in um, and use it that way. So that wasn't an option either. And so, you know, I, I wanted to see what ways I can fully use my keyboard to do it because my keyboard was still connected. And the way you do that <clears throat> is this uh, help article, which I'm going to link here. It, it allows you to use your keyboard like a mouse, right? So, or pretty much like everything. Um, so what you do is you hit the start key. I'm not the biggest Mac guy. I came from Windows. So you hit the start key five times. One, two, three, four, five, right? So now you have mouse keys on. And what that does for you is it allows you to, you see my mouse here right above table of contents. It allows you to hit the four, six, nine, eight, kind of like a um, directional joystick or a D-pad, right? So for the gamers out there. So you can actually go through and and move your mouse around and the five is how you click now if you have a the type of keyboard that does not have a number pad that's when you see the seven eight nine u j k and it does the same thing and i is to click now the reason this becomes important i'm going to turn these um keyboard mouse off or mouse keys i'm going to turn it off one two three four five uh, is because what i was trying to do before is let's see here so I did the spotlight search, type in Bluetooth, and I could not navigate over to the right side here. So I'll bring this center. So over here, you can see the different Bluetooth options. And with a regular mouse, you can go through and disconnect. You can click connect. You can do all that stuff, but you cannot do that when you don't have a mouse, right? So I was trying to, I'm gonna stop using my mouse here forward so you can kind of see the struggles I was having. So if I hit, let me make sure this is the main window. If I hit space or tab or anything, uh, all it would do is kind of toggle me from, you know, the search down to the options. And I can go down each one manually, but I could never go to the right, right? I could never access the right side of the screen to actually connect the keyboard. So if I hit that start key five times, one, two, three, four, five, um, and then I hold down six, now we can actually get over here to where I would find my mouse that's in pairing mode. And then I could press five to connect to it. So press five on the number pad and it will connect to that particular mouse. Now, this is the issue that, again, that's the fix. If you don't already have a mouse you can, and your keyboard is connected, you could just use your keyboard. If you don't have a keyboard either, then that's that's a lot tougher. But even if you had a wired keyboard or some kind of adapter, then there's different things you could do because the M4 Mac Mini is just all USB-C. So, and on top of that, my mouse wasn't gonna work regardless, right? So just make sure you turn off the um, the mouse keys. One, two, three, four, five because your number pad won't work until you do that. So it's an accessibility option, but even when navigating through, I was able to select different options. I couldn't actually get over to this right panel. So I don't know if it's like an oversight on Mac OS. I know they're missing some things like, um, some things like the, uh, whatchamacallit, being able to sp um, swift pair, that was pretty nifty. I'm sure it works if you have all Mac products, but. It's just something that didn't work for me. So hopefully this helps some of you all out that have had this specific issue. And um, yeah, this is uh you don't have to fresh reinstall Mac OS just to get to that screen again. You could just turn on your, your um, mouse keys and go from there. So I'm going to link this article in the description and hopefully this helps some of you all out. All right, be easy.